when the teaching is on material things, greed is fertilized. Covetousness. See, you are depressed because your focus has been diverted from where it should be to where it shouldn't be. Suddenly you feel that God never tried. Suddenly you feel like God, are you even there? Of what benefit is serving you? Suddenly you are frustrated. Why? You have left the mirror. You are looking at the wrong place. Comparing themselves with themselves. That message, that's what it produces. Produces competition, greed, carnality. When all of us are seeing Christ, we are equal before Christ. All of us are equal before Christ. But once it is not Christ, we are not equal. Our equality is in Christ. Outside Christ, there's no equality. Materialistic gospel, it breeds covetousness, greed. And eventually, it beguiles believers from the truth of God's word. Paul warned very strongly against this kind of gospel, the doctrine of Balaam. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to hold some words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. The doctrine must be according to godliness. And the doctrine must come from the wholesome words of Jesus Christ. Next verse. He is proud. Anybody that ignores the doctrine of Christ. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is what? Godliness. When your Christianity is measured by material things, what you are saying is that gain is godliness. That means you are not godly until you have a car, house, money. Otherwise, God is not with you. And in most of those churches, every Sunday, there must be three people. Hey, since I came to this church, if you know what the Lord has done for me, I have married a wife, material. I have just bought a car, material. I have just been employed. God indeed is in this place. You see you, when you measure God's presence by things, it's an insult. Because there are people who don't know God. They have three wives. They have five cars. And they have built mansions. So God must be with them. Your own is one wife. The man has three. Go one wife and you're making noise. The man has three and he's surviving with three of them. Funding all of them. And there's no quarrel in the house. You have one and you're disturbing us. Papa, you say we should marry three. Try now. <laughs> Can a man carry fire in his bosom and not be burned? Only one wife, you're sweating. Is it two and then three? Our testimony should not be material things. You should come out and say, praise the Lord. There is a scripture I've been working on. Finally, this morning, as I was reading, it came alive. Oh, hey, those are testimonies. Your testimony should be things that are not tangible. Things that are not corruptible eternal things you know that should be our testimony when we gather as saints we should tabernacle around what christ has done any preacher that focuses you on material things outside christ run i don't care how long he's been preaching flee for your life once a church is about money things clothes the message the songs everything is around material things run you are sitting where Satan sits. Wrong. Don't even try to stay for a second. When you go to such churches, when people celebrate things, brethren that have been there for years without a testimony, they get depressed. I've been in this church. Tight, I pay without mistake. I even used to add two naira on top in case I didn't count well. Yet nothing has changed. This one just came. And God has given him a car. God, is my name in the book of life or in the book of death? <laughs> See, they have destabilized you in Christ. Because the focus is wrong. He said, I know you are poor, but you are rich. 
Kabayata. I know you are poor physically, but in the things of Christ, you are rich. If these material things are really what God is talking about, why don't we go with them to heaven? The day you are going to die, carry all your car, carry all your money, put them inside your pocket. Say, so, okay, as you are burying me now, me and them will disappear. Next verse. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing and having food and raiment let us be there with content once you can see food to eat and cloth to wear whether it is designer or not designer as long as it is cloth that will cover you and you have food to eat is enough for joy it's you that is killing yourself by comparing yourself with your classmates. 